We simulate and control underwater soft-bodied animals driven by muscle contraction. The body and the arms of the octopus are densely packed with muscle fibers. The octopus can bend, stretch, and twist its arm in arbitrary directions to move fluidly. We use the FEM simulation to model the soft body with muscles and deep reinforcement learning to control many degrees of freedom. The simulated animal learned to swim and perform goal-driven maneuvers by propagating muscle excitation signals through the body. Our octopus is physically simulated in real time and interactively controllable. Its control is robust against external perturbations. Our simulated animals are equipped with biomimetic actuators. Here we compare muscle excitation models. The independent muscle excitation model, IMEM, assumes that all excitation signals along the muscle fibers are independent. Although IMEM allows for maximal flexibility in movements, the high dimensionality of the control is a big obstacle for learning motor skills. The shared muscle excitation model, SMEM, is the direct opposite of IMEM assuming that the entire length of the muscle fibers shares the same excitation signal. This model is too simple to reproduce complex motor skills. The Central Patterns Generator Muscle Excitation Model, CPG-MEM, produces cyclic excitation signals from the central nervous system and propagates the signals to peripherals. In this model, the central nervous system takes full control over movements and modulates the central patterns to change the swimming direction and speed. We present a new biomimetic muscle excitation model called Adaptive Propagation Muscle Excitation Model, inspired by signal delivery and muscular hydrostats. The central nerve signals are adapted dynamically while propagating to peripherals. The controller, equipped with this new model, generates the appearance of biological movements. There are two longitudinal muscles in each arm. The inside muscles shown in green play a role in making forward thrusts, while the outside muscles shown in pink play an opposite role in recovering the arm position for the next thrust and making a backward thrust to break. The octopus also has transverse and oblique muscles. The transverse muscle squeezes the soft tissues, and the volume preservation of the soft tissues has the arm stretched. The oblique muscle twists the arm. The harmonious coordination of muscle excitation allows the octopus to move and turn rapidly and fluidly. The starfish is an imaginary soft-bodied animal having four legs that spread out symmetrically. Each leg of the starfish has two longitudinal muscles that swing the leg forward and backward to make a thrust. The dynamics system of the starfish has 4,600 force actuators and 1,200 degrees of freedom. The starfish learned to swim in a few hours of computation. The cuttlefish has a volumetric body with 10 short arms and thin fins on both sides of the body. It has two longitudinal contractile muscles in each arm and a bending muscle in each fin. It can move slowly forward or backward by fluttering the fins. The arms can make additional thrusts to move faster. The angle of attack shows the hydrodynamic responses on the body surface. The arm swing and fin fluttering generate thrust and drag forces depending on the angle of attack. Our user interface system allows the user to easily design flat body animals by drawing the contour of the body and muscle embeddings using Bezier splines. The lone triangulation of the contour produces a FEM mesh. The zigzag shaped muscles imitate the anatomy of stingrays. Propagating muscle excitation signals through the zigzag muscles produces wavy, fluttering movements of soft fins. The system also visualizes the effect of central nerve signals and their propagation. We also created a variety of imagery thin-shelled animals actuated by various muscles in their embedding. The animals cannot swim in the desired direction with central nerve patterns only. Deep reinforcement learning stabilizes their movements and makes them controllable. This demo shows two ribbon eels passing through obstacles. Although their controller was learned in the free space, the ribbon eels can cope with the cramped collision-prune environment.